everyone, happy Friday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. We have had a good week. It's um, started out really good weather and it's been raining. So actually today, my video may be a little bit yellowy because I haven't, I need to change these bulbs even though I really don't want to because I like them in every other instance. But anyway, um, but anyway, <laughs> I talk too much. But um, so John has been out of town. He has gone to a golf trip with some friends from work and um, just to Myrtle Beach. And um, he'll be back by the time I post this video. But um, we have missed him so much. I mean, it really does, absence does make the heart grow fonder. I know how much I miss them when I'm away, but I miss him, you know, just being here. And it's not that I, he does a lot, and it's like I can keep up with that, but I just miss, like when I think of something, like for instance, what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today, I really haven't talked to him because you know, I know he's out having fun, and when he calls, I don't. Tr I try not to bog him down with any extra, you know, stuff. So anyway, um, what I want to talk to you about today is something very, very important to me, and it's you, <laughs> and it's this channel, and it's um, weeks, if not months, worth of deep thought, and I think it just has all come to ahead this week um, it started when I went to reward style and I have to say I mean I guess you guys know I was just I don't know I told you that I was so taken back at how serious a lot of people were and how um, I don't know if I said that but I just I, I, I really felt like oh my gosh you know I almost felt like I didn't belong there and I had no stuff prepared to go which is my own fault because they told me to but i had no you know press packets prepared i had business cards which are just my name and my phone number and i do have my youtube channel on it i do um but i, I only had those because i always have those in my wallet and they were kind of like not fresh and pretty looking and um i heard people talk about like analytics and stuff for their channel like you know how long people watch and who their demographic was and I will be a hundred percent honest I never look at that I never look at my likes or dislikes I never know how many I couldn't tell you right now what my highest watched video is I couldn't tell you um, how many likes I have on my Instagram post. I have always just come to you just, you know, barely prepared and sat down and started talking. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like, um, you know, I've been on here for, gosh, over nine years. And I feel like things have changed and I have changed. And you have, have changed. And so this week, something made me go to my analytics on YouTube. And I always knew that I don't, I have a lot of subscribers and please do not take this. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have never been on here to get a bunch of subscribers, obviously. That's why I don't do a bunch of gimmicky um, giveaways and crazy stuff to make you subscribe. Hi. And I think along the way, it has kind of um, not been good because one, I mean, how are you gonna know that it would make me feel really good for you to subscribe to me if I don't tell you? How are you gonna know that? And one thing I realized, I've got a list of things I wanna talk about here. Um, I, I have, I noticed on my analytics when it says, look and see how most people find you. Do they find you from Google? You know, what are they looking up? Uh, it was amazing to me. The top four or five things are just you guys keying in Lisa Lisa D1. It wasn't from my subscribers. So that makes me think that a lot of you are watching me, but you're not subscribed. And I never ask you how much I would love for you to subscribe because it's not that I want to have more subscribers than anyone else. It's not that it's a game or it's a thing. But anytime you do something, 
anything. If you are like a runner, you want to gradually run further and further and further. If you play piano, you want to gradually play more and more difficult and better songs. And so it's natural when you are an achiever to want to see some results from what you're doing. And you know, I just feel like I've been stagnant. I mean, I might gain a little bit of subscribers, but it never fails when I post a video, I lose. I don't know how many subscribers, which is so weird to me. And so right now, I just wanna tell you, if you would, if you're watching me and you haven't subscribed, it would really make me feel good and it would let me know that I'm doing some of the right things if you subscribe. Um, if you don't even have a YouTube account, it's not hard. I remember when I first started watching YouTube, I didn't either. And I would just look up, um, I remember it was Lollipop26, I would just look her up. Um, or I would just go to YouTube and look her up. Um, but it really would help me knowing that I, I don't know, that I guess I'm progressing and that I am doing something worthwhile if you would subscribe. And um, so what I was gonna say is if you, haven't, so if you haven't got a YouTube account, it's free. It's free to subscribe, just like it's free to watch. Um, it's just a way of, you know, I don't know, it's just a way of me knowing how, how if I'm doing good, if I'm not, you know, if I, you know what I mean. Anyway, I think that's enough on that. Okay, another thing that I've been really, really thinking about for a long time are my Friday hauls. And I read probably a year or more ago that when you're doing something like this on social media, you need to, what is it, dance with the person who brought you there, dance with the person who brought you to the dance, you know, and that you shouldn't change what you are known for. You shouldn't change what people come to see you for. And so I've always thought, well, my, you know, my most popular video is my Friday haul. So it's not that I want to stop doing that, but I want to change it a little bit. I really don't like just doing, oh, I got this and I got this and I got this because one, if I'm just showing you what I bought that week, I really don't even know if I like it yet. Um, and a lot of times I'll have to leave stuff here on this table just so I won't forget to show you. And then I can't really use it or I don't remember to use it. It's just, it's not really a natural thing. And I have on here, my first thing I have to talk to you about is I, I wrote, I want to talk to you like I would a real friend because you guys are my real friends. There is not a day that goes by that I don't think of many of you and think about you as a whole, as my friend. And I don't, I would never like call Tammy and say, this week I got this, I got that, I got this. I would tell her, oh my gosh, you know, I got this. Or um, my friend Brandy, she might text me and say, what's your favorite? Um, gosh, she texts me all the time. Have you ever tried this Josie Moran product? Or what, I know that she said, what's your favorite eyeliner for your waterline or something? I would rather be more like that. And so what I want to do with my Friday hauls is one, I want to make them shorter. My average watch time was like 10 minutes. That's when most people drop off from my videos. And that is terrible. Here I have been making these videos that are so long because a lot of you tell me, oh, I love your long videos. And I understand that, but it's not gonna do me any good or do most people any good if they're not watching the whole thing. It's like, what's the point? And I feel like those people are maybe missing something that I really wanted to say at the end. So what I would rather do is make consistent videos, maybe post every Wednesday and every Friday, kind of like I do now. And then maybe if I want to pop a weekend video in there or a sporadic video in there, I can. I want to prepare for my videos. I want to really take time and prepare. And I've always been the kind of person that when you see me, that's what I'm really wearing that day. It's really the day it is. And that is part of what I've been doing. But I feel like in order to make my videos better and um, really be thorough and really give you more of my true self, I probably need to prepare a little bit. So I want to do that. 
and I want to be a lot of times I will be showing you guys like a whole haul video and in there will be little things that really I would rather have done a whole video on like I might say one little tip or it might be something that I'm just feeling it might be something that I really liked this week and I, I would really have more time like to have more time to tell you why um, so I, that's another reason um, okay and the next thing I had written down here was I miss the days I used to share just what I love and not just what's new no, I actually wrote, I miss the days I used what I love and not just what's new. And that's another thing. It's gotten where my makeup, it's like I can't be consistent. Every day, I'm like tr trying to try something new. And I realize that's a lot of the reason why I'm here. And I'll never stop doing that because that's how I've always been. But this has kind of kicked it up five notches. And... I want to really tell you guys what I really love and I want to be able to use that before I feel like I've got to go get the next collection. And um, so, and I love getting the next collection. Like I loved getting that Estee Lauder poppy whatever collection or whatever it was. I can't remember the one with Violet. But, you know, I probably didn't need to get the J.Lo collection because that was just too much and I felt stressed out and I didn't get to use either one of them long enough to even get to tell you about it. So that's something is I want to be a little bit more, um, I'm going to say genuine, which I've never been disingenuous with you about what I like, but I want to know more, you know, what I like. And um, I wrote down here that I have so much more to give and to offer. And... A lot of people tell me this, you know, and I get, you know, do you ever do anything but shop? And it just like, for one, I think this is a haul video, you know what I mean? And I feel like I've kind of been known as shopping all the time, and that's really just not me. I'm not the girl who spends days walking through malls. When I get something, I've either ordered it. My favorite time to online shop is Saturday morning. I like to just get up. I feel just good about the weekend, and I like to online shop. And then during the week, I mean, all I'm doing is I'm going out and running errands, going to the grocery store or whatever I have to do, going to see my mom and my niece, like at least two to three times a week. And if I think to myself, oh, I wonder what... Um, Banana Republic has. I will probably just, one, if there's not a parking spot in front of Banana Republic, I'll probably just ride on by. Or I might run in there. Or Ulta. I usually do try to go to Ulta like, um, there's a trash man, like once a week. Because I do like to see what's new. And a lot of times I might have watched something over the weekend that I, you know, somebody else is using I want to try. So that, I do usually do that. But um, I'm more of a strategic shopper. Now, when I go out of town, of course, I like to walk around and go to all these places I haven't been. But um, most of the time, I'm not just out shopping every day. And I do tend to buy a lot. So, how much I spent, I've already spent more time telling you this than I even wanted to spend on this video. So, today, what I'm going to do is... I think I've covered all my things on my list. I want to not show you every single thing I got this week. I want to show you my favorite things I got this week. And there may be some more of this stuff that's in front of me that will end up being my favorite, but I want to use it and I want to try it on, maybe wear it. That's another thing. I want to do little videos that I love that are meaningful to me, like the best bras to wear with summer clothes. The best bras to wear when you're a smaller frame with bigger boobs. Um, the best, my favorite nude lipsticks. People ask me that and I'm thinking, I don't have time. <laughs> you know, I just feel like I don't have time to do that video. Um, I want to do, I mean, let me think, let me see. I want to, um, I want to do more like just telling you things that I've experienced. Um, you know, like I did a video on how to, um, something about how I got over my divorce. I would love to tell young girls the best way I think to find a forever husband or, you know, somebody that is meaningful to spend your time with. 
um, I would love to just, you know, I really want to add more depth to my videos. I want to make them um, probably more concise, less rambling. Okay. Um, Tammy had given me this um, suggestion, most comfortable pumps. I mean, that's something that's important to me and that's something I feel yeah, I want to share. I think that's something that a lot of people would want to know. She said, best fitting jeans for long-waisted women. You know, different things that we, I was asking her what some things that, you know, that were, that I felt like I had to give, you know? Um, and I really, I know that my style is not everyone's. And, you know, so a lot of times I hesitate to use the word sexy because people jump all over me about how I should quit trying to do, 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 you know, all this kind of stuff. And so I've got, you know, I've, I've got, you know, I've kind of gotten watered down. I've really gotten watered down in what I want to say. And it is so important to me for women my age that have had children and kind of lost their sexy I love to give you any little tip that would help you feel better. And I use the word sexy, but it may be some other word to you. Um, and so that's what I want to do. I want to do more videos that are, you know, my favorite jeans, my favorite um, how to make your lips look larger, how to, because it's not all about Juvederm. There are plenty of things and how to look younger in my opinion and there are enough people on YouTube if you don't like my opinion or you don't like my style there are a, just a gazillion people out there that you will and so I'm ready to kind of do that. So let me know down below please what you think about what I've said. I want to know um, why you watch me. Like what do you you know, do I inspire you? Do you just like watching me so that you have some things to shop for on the weekends? Um, do you watch me because you like my makeup tips? Do you watch me because of fashion? Um, and I want to be much more dedicated to fashion. Not as much uh, quantity, a lot more quality. And I don't mean price, but I mean showing you different ways to style one outfit. Um, just different things like that that really are much more interesting to me than just buying a lot of things. You know, and I try to touch on that with like a signature look and I try to throw in little bits of info and stuff in videos, but I would rather make a video on that and, you know, delve into that a little bit more. And there's just so much more to me than you guys know. And I'm not saying that you'll like it, but I know that there is. And even when I, you know, watch some of my videos, I think, you know, I don't know. It's like I, sometimes I don't blame people for thinking some of the things that they think about because they don't know me, but I haven't yet given them the chance. And if you know me and then you don't like me, then that's fine. Um, that's, believe me, <laughs> I've come to grips with that. So let me show you five things that I got this week that I am crazy about feel 98.9% .9 sure that you will be crazy about. Okay, what I have on now is another Dior lip glow and I'll come in closer. And I actually, see this is another thing. I showed you guys that peachy lip glow, the coral one. When I put it on my lips, it turned bright pink. There was no coral or peach to it. So I returned it. So if I had given my chance, myself a chance to even wear that, I would have not even shown you that. It makes me feel guilty that you might have gone out and gotten that, and then you might not have liked it. So anyway, I ended up returning that, and I ended up getting this one, which is, I believe it's, um, oh my goodness, I believe it's Berry. And I've got it on now, and it's on my lips now. And I love it, I love it. My favorite ones by far, are the matte raspberry. This one I'm crazy about. The only reason I didn't wear it today is because I've been wearing it all week and I, I wanted to show you, I wanted to actually be wearing the new one. So these, I love them. I really do. I went to Sephora to get that lilac-y one that you guys said I might like and they were out of it, but I still want to get that one. So that is something I'm crazy about. 
this is something I've already gone through one bottle and I ordered another one and it's been sitting out here and because I didn't want to forget it, I haven't even been able to use it. So it's the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. Now it does smell like roses. So if you are not a fan of roses, you might not like it. I don't like a lot of, I don't like a lot of rose like lip balm or rose lotion or rose soap, but this does not offend me. It's, um, oh goodness, here's John, hold on. Hey baby. Okay, so back to this hair oil. Um, not hair oil, It's I use it as body oil. I don't use it on my hair, I don't think I ever have. I wouldn't want to use this in my hair, but body oil, it is the best one. It's, the other one I like is the one that Denise sent me. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's more of like a skincare type oil. And it's not that this isn't too, it's just that, um, let's see, Luxurious, fast absorbing rose hair and body oil is silicone free, fusion of nutrient oils from all over the world. Anyway, you can read what's in it, but for me to buy another bottle of it instead of just using all the stuff I have here, that says a lot. I really, really like it. So, okay, the next thing, this is one of my very favorite things, and let me zoom out so you can see it. I have been wanting to redo my bedroom, not redo it, um, redo my pillows and stuff because everything I had was kind of wintry and soft and I so I wanted just like something and I was looking at pillows and stuff um, online and I came across this one and it is fabulous and it's this big it's satin on the front um, black like a tweed on the back it's got a zipper and the at the pillow comes with it and um, I just love him <laughs> I feel like he's so appropriate because I love lions, I love sunglasses, and the wording says, it says, you'll always be my main man. And I just thought, I love that. That's just like something I would say. And my main squeeze, my main man, you know? And I just thought, oh, that is gonna look so pretty on my bed. Just, I probably won't put anything with it. You could get some other pillows to be with it, but I'm kind of practical and I like to be able to make up my bed real quick. And my other bedding is white. And it just adds the neatest, you know, look in my bedroom. And it really is a good pillow. It really feels soft. It's kind of, I'm sure it's like a, maybe a feather alternative or something like that, but it's the kind that has some good weight to it. And um, I just love it. I think he's precious. He reminds me so much of Bubba right there. I mean, he looks just like Bubba with sunglasses on. And um, so that is something that I love, and I think you would too. Okay, another thing that I am loving that I bought this week, and I actually bought some other stuff. I want to do a whole video on my favorite sunscreens. But I got one this week, and it is the Elta MD UV Clear Tinted. There are so many of these sunscreens. I thought I already had it, but the one I had was the regular Elta MD Tinted. This one is actually for, it says it calms and protects acne prone skin. Um, it's got the zinc oxide, all that stuff, it's SPF 46. This is what I've been using all week for a makeup primer and it is fabulous. And matter of fact, today I used it and I don't even have foundation on. I just have on um, Tarte Shape Tape, you know, like under my eyes and in the center of my face and then a little bit of Laura Mercier mineral powder. And this just, the tint isn't strong, but it's enough to give you like a little bit of a base. It does not get oily at all. I was using a sample they gave me of the regular Elta MD tinted, and that did get a little oily. So that must be more for dry skin. This is so fabulous. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite sunscreens I've tried in a long time and I just got it I got it Tuesday and I've been using it every day so I feel pretty confident okay so what is that one two three four okay the next thing that I got and I have not tried this but I want to just show you real quick so I can try it because it's something that um, I'm, I want to use and put on my bed and everything but it is the slip um, satin pure silk pillowcase anti-aging anti-sleep crease and anti-bedhead I got the pink one, which is really like a beautiful blush color, and it's king size. I got it at Dillard's, and it was $99, 
and I have heard that this is just the best one. And I have the slip sleep mask and it is awesome. My favorite ones are the slip one and the Colleen Rothschild mask, sleep mask that I have. So I wanted to show you that. And then, um, oh, I've got some favorite clothes I want to show you and I've got some other things. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my new favorite clothes and stuff like that instead of trying to just pile it in here and overwhelm you because it's overwhelming to me i feel like i can't even show it like i want to so i'm going to do a quick outfit of the day which is another thing i want to have a separate tripod set up with a separate camera and be able to do my outfit i just want to spend more time and make things better and be more of myself and really talk about more of the things that i really want to talk about so, okay, first of all, <laughs> I know you have not missed my earrings because it would be impossible, but I went in Oliver yesterday, stopped by after, uh, no, it was before I went and got my salad at Chick-fil-A. That's another thing. I want to do a video on my favorite, um, like, fast food salads. Um, actually, I have lost, I think, over eight pounds in less than two weeks. And so I'm going to do a video on, I feel pretty sure that I will have lost 10 pounds in two weeks. I want to do a video on that. Just all kinds of things like that. I want to do, I want, I'm going to do a video on my IPL I just had on my legs. I'm going to do a video on uh, filler. And I want to do a video on Botox. Just different things like that. But um, anyway, I stopped by to see Kelly. And um, I didn't even see these at first and I ended up, I was getting this dress that I'm going to show you and I spotted these earrings and I was like, oh my gosh. And they are by um, a Mignon Gavigan, pretty, you know, big designer um, and they are gorgeous. And I don't know if they have a real name, but they were not cheap, but like I say, they weren't cheap and they're a statement. And I've told you guys that I'm gonna to try to really start wearing my hair back. I have not used heat products on my hair or even dried it all the way since last Thursday. I really want to give my hair a break and it's so humid here, there's no point really. So I figured something like this would be awesome as much as I'm wearing my hair back now. And I want you to look at how detailed and beautiful these are. Just itty bitty tiny beads. I mean, they're just gorgeous. And they're just so me. And they're such a statement. And I thought, at first I thought they were too much or, you know, are they, and then I just said, you know what? Go for it, I'm getting them. And um, I just love them. And so I'm gonna wear them today. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what people say. But and I just think they're so summery and summertime and I love them. So I'm gonna stand up and do my outfit of the day and then I will finally let you go and I cannot wait to hear your feedback. So I'll be right back. So today I have on a dress that I got from Oliver and it is that brand that I love so much, the Getting Back to Square One. And I just can't tell you how soft it is. It's that same brand that I got the ruffle t-shirt and, um, the, the off the shoulder, you know, like kind of Bridget Bardot tops that I love to wear. It's just one of my very favorite designers or brands or whatever. It is so soft, you could not imagine how soft it is. Um, it has a slit like up to here, so it's not too crazy, but yet it's not hard to walk in or frumpy and not so long that I can't wear flip-flops with it. These are the Valentino flip-flops that I love. Denise sent these to me. They're awesome. But actually, I think, really, I think today with these earrings, I'm gonna probably put on just my black Javianas, but I wanted to show you how good these shoes actually look with the dress. Or if I were, like tonight, if I go out and we go to dinner, I would probably put on a pair of sandals, you know, like heel sandals, or they would look great with like black uh, gladiator sandals. I just love that they still show your shoes, that it still shows your shoes, but you don't have to wear heels because mo a lot of long t-shirt dresses are just so long that they're limiting. And you can see it's not too, 
it's fitted enough to be flattering, but it's not crazy. You know what I mean? It's still, you don't feel like your tummy's hanging out or anything like that. And um, I just love it. And I just love the simplicity of it. The sleeves are the right length, everything. Okay, so just showed you the earrings. Um, my rings are from uh, my parents, both of them. I don't know if I got them at the same time, but I like to wear them together. And this reminds me of, I don't know if you guys saw that Lisa Eldridge has come out with her own line of rings, like real gemstones in 18 karat gold and silver. And um, I really want to order one. I looked and I just could not pick out which one I wanted. So I decided I would think about it and then come back and um, order one later, but I just love them. The, the thing is, I want like three of them and they're, they're not expensive for what they are, but they're kind of expensive. I can't buy three at one time. But um, I actually painted my nails because they're getting so much better and I just really wanted to paint my nails so bad. So this is OPI Red and um, my fragrance, see that's another thing. When I put on, I sprayed my Arizona fragrance today and I thought to myself, I wonder if they really know how much I like this, that I'm really genuine and I'm not just showing them. I got this, I got that, you know? So anyway, another thing, oh, I just already told you about that. I was gonna say another thing is I wanna show you my favorite bras because the one I have on today, I just love. My favorite bralettes. I just, I'm really excited. I feel like it's gonna open a whole new chapter. Um, with my videos so we'll see how it goes i guess i can always go back but um anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend um, i want you to know how much you all mean to me how much this channel means to me it's a big part of my life and it's been very rewarding and um, i want it to be an equally good time for you guys and inspiring so let me know what you think down below please subscribe and i will see you soon Bye bye